Well, 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 what do we have here? Is it maybe, possibly, perhaps, time to fry? The first thing we're gonna talk about today takes us a long way back into the past, the black and white era, if you will. All the way back to this video, right here. Late last year, one of the most intriguing videos of all time dropped on the Minecraft YouTube channel. On the surface, it seems like an innocent video promoting some of the at the time new features. However, there was something more insidious afoot. Above it, directly at the top of the screen, we saw something suspicious. And at the time, the stuff was insane. This was the first big potential taste of 1.21, other than everything we knew about. I mean, we were pre-bogged, pre-wind charge, breeze rod, and pre-mace. And then, unfortunately, after this reveal that I still, to this day, think was very, very intentional and definitely means something, well, I, unfortunately, after that, there was months of nothing. Late last week, however, after the heavy core of the breeze rod, all of the new things were debuted, this video dropped. <laughs> now on the surface, this is the exact type of thing that I love. It's the developers themselves talking about things that they're adding to the game and their thought process behind it. To make it even more cream of the crop, we have none other than Orap himself, the panda boy himself, the legend, suited up in a panda drip. Ooh, it's clean. It's sad to say another final game theorist is currently uploading, which leaves me with one job and one job only. Together, me and you, let's pick this video up, break it apart into small bits, and just see what we can find. <laughs> All in good fun, of course. So times like this in the Minecraft community are exactly what I love. You get an exciting spicy snapshot, or you get like five to seven exciting spicy snapshots practically in a row. You get a ton of new cool stuff, they don't fully explain some of it, so it's like super mysterious, and it's like, hey, what is going on? What in the world is that thing? Immediately, or pretty much immediately after this video dropped, I saw it happen. Inside of the final minute of this three minute long video, a player walks inside of a house, Alex pulls it out of the box and puts it on the table, but what in the world is that in the background? So, with that, I knew exactly what I had to do. The one-to-one, -one, a recreation of scene, a model to build inside of my world so we could analyze it up close and personal, and I hate to say it, I'm so sorry to say, but it is not a brand new Minecraft block. I pulled this off in survival. It was not easy, but I pulled it off. We've got a campfire down below, a hopper minecart up top, and then an iron trap door. Now, executing this setup flawlessly, I have to admit it, I hate to admit it, that it took me way more time to figure out than it should have. So here's what we've got. We've got a campfire sitting on the ground, a small minecart rail line setup, and a trap door right next to it. If we go ahead and push this minecart, I said push the minecart, it falls basically right into place. After that, we can go ahead and get rid of those. All right, well, you get the vision, right? So unfortunately, it's just a beautiful build trick going on in the video, but I can't deny this is a very <laughs> strange way to show off the heavy core with this super intriguing little build hack in the background. I mean, the frying table thing, it made a decent amount of noise inside of the community. I think it's fair to say maybe the devs heard of the whole frying table theory. Or obviously, if they know what's going on behind the scenes and a frying table is actually coming to the game, this does seem like a little teaser. Maybe. Right? Anyways, let's move on. The heavy core. I had a lot of fun doing a deep dive into the heavy core. Basically, honorary everything series episode. Learning all about it and, you know, just everything. Well, I've got more. As a little follow-up, I saw some confusion in the comments about it. The heavy core, I said it's a rotational item, but it doesn't really appear to be rotating or anything like that. Well, it's now confirmed that that's due to a bug. If you are ever looking to be big detective, the number one tool you could use, Minecraft Java, is the debug stick. If we go ahead and interact with this heavy core with a stick, you can see the different orientation thing that I was thinking about. If you're ever looking for secrets and mysteries, this is almost always the way to go. Remember, this is how we actually find out the whole weird cracked block state thing with this pot then seemingly still exists. Right near the end of that little dev showcase, Altraf gave us the next 1.21 hint. For now, you can use a trial key for a chance of getting one from a vault, but uh, don't expect it to always be that easy. Let's just say it's going to be quite an interesting rare challenge. Did somebody just say an interesting rare challenge? Did somebody say another in? So look, no hate, no shade to it, but the trial chambers is a very interesting challenge, but it's definitely not a rare one. If you've checked out inside of the snapshots for even a little bit of time under the ground, you will find that the trial chamber, I mean, it's pretty common. And actually, I don't think I have it going on right here. Maybe somebody paused it and call it I missed it. But there have been many times where I can stand at one trial chamber. Aha, I can stand at one trial chamber and literally see another. 
Pair that with the fact that Ulrav literally confirmed that that whole 2.2% drop rate, it's really just temporary. That sentence, that one single sentence, not only is that insanely intriguing, but that also confirms that this update, well, this update is indeed going to actually not just be the trial chambers. There's going to at least be something somewhere else. Or will there? Immediately, my first take and thought, it goes back to this room. But at this point, after this whole structure flipping overhaul that we just saw in the recent snapshot, I feel like this door right here is totally just an aesthetic door at this point. It's not actually a chamber to anything more or anything like that. Combine that all with the fact that this room right here is called the entrance room of the structure. And I think it's talking about like the entrance. You enter into here, grab the loot, and then take on the whole challenge. With Ulrav calling the real way to get the heavy core an interesting rare challenge, I think it's safe to say it probably isn't going to involve the trial chambers at all. But what about another structure? One you have to go out into the world and find. With a lot of the updates, Mojang has been adding into the game, or attempting to add into the game in the case of the villagers updates, it seems that they're all about exploring your world. You like the looks of that brand new tasty wolf? Well, you're gonna have to go out and find it. Since this implementation, I've always thought that a great thing for the trial chambers would be you go to the structure, you get something, say maybe a trial key, and then you take that key and use it somewhere else. When implemented in game, this would be a system exactly like what we have going on with the eye event. You go out into your world a couple different places probably and collect up the materials for this thing. Then eventually, once you're ready to use it, you use it and it's going to send you somewhere completely different inside of your world. What if, to get the heavy core the real way, you head to the chambers, pick up a trial key, and then take that key to a different unique vault that generates somewhere else inside of a different structure across your world? I forget to nothing. I remember everything. More specifically this. This thing is like cooked into my mind. It's never going to leave me. Have you had plans of adding a new boss? And the villager said yes. And this is like literally almost exactly a year ago right now. Minecraft 1.21? <laughs> combat and all it's literally perfect for a boss well there he is for this example that thing over there that's the wretched new boss is called the tinkerer you run up to the tinkerer you charge in you take him out and then what's that a heavy core is thrown on the ground oh interesting interesting this implementation i'm a little bit unsure of it though because of the mace is such a cool new weapon wouldn't it almost make a little bit more sense to use the mace maybe take on that new boss you want to fall damage and you know deal a lot of damage because the boss is very very tanky utilizing the mace's like fall damage cancellation damage buildup thing definitely seems more like the reality for taking on the boss instead of like being rewarded with it but you never know maybe this totally could be a boss that you would go out into your world and maybe find somewhere you activate it and then all of a sudden the challenge begins to make it replayable and repeatable something the devs seem really concerned about with the trial chamber maybe it's like a cooldown and you can take it on only every so often getting the core from the boss or not it definitely feels like right now is the perfect time for minecraft's next boss and to be honest all signs are pointing towards yes but what do you think? What do you think the real way to get the heavy core is? Tap that like button and let's move on to the final thing that I'd like to talk about today. Briefly, Ulrak. This update is a lot about combat and new combat situations and mechanics. And we thought that a new weapon would be a perfect fit into it. In new combat situations. New combat mechanics. New combat mechanics, you say? Hmm, very interesting. If I think about what we have in the update right now, I guess the only new mechanic is really the mix. The obvious new combat situation and experience is the trial chamber. It's the definition of it. All right, fine, I'll admit it. I guess I'm just looking for hope, any hope, that new combat mechanics will come to the game. Speaking of come to the game, Bedrock Hardcore, it looks like it's on the way so soon. Thanks to none other than Dark Gamer, it looks like a brand new toggle is officially going to make it into the game soon. Anyways, that's all I got for you today, friends. If you'd like to continue to fuel my addiction to Minecraft conspiracies, then tap like on this video right now, <laughs> and I'll be encouraged to make more. Maybe next up, check out everything about the heavy core slash a little bit of theories too. It was fun. And my patrons, Archangel, Ground Crazy Game, Medical Boomstick, Swoopy Louvers, Noodle Pork, Bill W, and Tanner B. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully with a snapshot.